Hey guys, welcome back to a new POV using the R6 with the EF 50mm 1.8, which is basically my go-to street photography setup right now. Yeah, I've just arrived in London. It's like the evening now, so it should get darker from here on out. Um, I'm just gonna wander about, meet up with a few friends, shoot some photos. Don't really know what's gonna happen in this video, but um, hopefully we get some good photos. So enjoy. Hello, I hope everyone is well. I wanted to let you know about the sponsor of this video, Acaso. If you're interested in possibly winning a free action camera, then keep watching. I'm going to tell you more about it later on. But for now, shout out the guys at Acaso and enjoy the POV. So I'm going to lob the aperture to 1.8, get that shallow depth of field, probably a shutter speed of 1.800 or something. Maybe you're not, it's still quite light outside. So 1.250. Let's get a classic shot of the shard here. I'm going to use the fence here for a little bit of foreground, I think. Shutter, 1.5 thousand f-stop 1.8 oh a bird just come through there in the frame that looks nice so my focus setting is one shot on servo if i am shooting photos of people i like to keep it on servo and then it follows anything moving in frame but because there's not many people where i am right now i'm going to keep it on one shot af so one shot auto focus and then i'm going to use the, the af tracking focus method as well you could use zone af zone af is a, is a simple one for street photography but we're going to stick it on the uh, face tracking you know and then i like to use the touch screen as well for pov so you can see whereabouts i'm focusing and stuff um, otherwise i would just use the viewfinder that's clean. I wanted, I do want a bird to wander through there and fly through frame because that'd look nice. But we can't be picky. That's what we'll have to do. Clouds look good though. Let's get on top of it and just get a scenic shot. The 50 mil is not the best at wide, wide images, but this is okay. Actually, we'll change that up. Let's get the f-stop to around 7.1, get a lot of the frame in focus. Lob that shutter down to 250. Frame up Tower, Tower of London, Tower Bridge even. Boom. Simple. So if anyone's watched any of my POVs before, you know I like to get close up on these buildings, especially these glass buildings, they look sick. So we're gonna get, oh, reflection of the sky in the background as well. This is nice. F-stop 5.6, ISO 100, shut speed 1, 2, 50, boom. That's nice. Let's actually get a bit closer. The shard's looking nice right now. I've got a feeling this POV is just gonna be full of shard images, but why not? I'm gonna get even closer to this blue. Well, I think it's just a black and glass building, but the, the blue sky is reflecting quite nicely. So let's see what we can do. <laughs> Throw the camera at a weird angle. Boom, sick. Oh, that's nice. A little glow in the background. Oh, the sun is out, people. The sun is out. Summer is here, kind of. It's April, but I'm excited already. Nice. I'm trying to not shoot directly into the sun because it's a bit harsh, but it's like the sun's gone now, so you kind of have to constantly adjust your settings. I like to go with the hat. Let's see what we can do here. You're all right. No, go on. Thanks. Nice. That was what I wanted. She was being too polite and I couldn't get the photo. Yeah. Just, I thought I, I waved at her. Totally. Just something in the foreground. Yeah, I like that. Is she out of focus? Yeah, she's out of focus. The shard's in focus. Oh. Found this nice little, uh, don't even know how to describe it. Corridor, corner, whatever this is. Two. These runners. That's kind of cool. That was all right. Shard in the background. You just look like a. You just look like the most typical tourist ever. I like it though. 50 mil, 1.8 depth of field coming in clutch here. I mean, if that's not your new profile picture, I don't know what it is. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Light round here is just stunning. I want to get that shot of someone walking down over there. I think I'm going to miss it. Oh, yes. Love this. Love this, mate. I'll oh. probably crop in, uh, yeah, zoom in a bit. Oh, that's so good. Look at that. That's so sharp. We've just well. found such a lovely spot here. Now what's happening is I'm getting a, a bit of glare from the sun. So if I punch forward a little bit, you can see it's like light, dark, light, dark. So if we can get a, get a couple of subjects through this spot here, we should get some nice, this might look quite nice. Let's wait for some people, I think. This would be worth waiting. It's a nice spot. This is where patience of street photography comes in because this spot right here looks so good. There's like a crossover of light reflection from the building. The sun is, there obviously if you can see that so i just want to wait for some silhouettes for some people to come through and create some shadows and create some subjects something like so um my settings are designed to create a, a silhouette of that person so yeah i'm exposing for the sky and even the sky is a bit too bright but these are nice these are really nice aperture 2.2 iso 100 shutter speed 1 now, it does look really dark but you've got to expose for that sky so you don't blow out the highlights you know so some nice silhouettes coming from Millennium Bridge. So I'm gonna go aperture of like 11, shut speed 250. Oh, that's nice. Nice composition here. I don't want the sun to be too bright, but like, 
Nice. I feel like in every POV I take a photo of St. Paul, so I'm going to take this one image, and that is it for today. Boom. It's got a nice scenic shot here. My phone's ringing, just going to ignore it <laughs> while I get the shot. Shutter speed one six. Uh, shutter speed 1600, 1.8, ISO 125. That's kind of nice. Woo, look at the light. Good to see you again. This hey, is Jimmy. Nice to see you. Nice Dan, give me your best pose. <laughs> give, me your, give me your best pose, just looks into the distance. <laughs> look at the layers here. St. Paul's just peeping through in the background. Focus on St. Paul's in the background at a low depth of field, 1.8, and as this guy walks past, I kind of like that, it looks a bit chaotic. There's three people in, in frame, out of focus, but I don't know, something about it. I'll crop in and see what that looks like. So I can see someone coming up now with a bit of a red hat or a red coat. I see these um, these post boxes here, so I'm gonna try and incorporate a bit of red into the shot. Try to figure out actually what I wanna do is maybe shoot through this red post box and get the, the person with the red orange hat in the background actually. Let's try and incorporate a little bit of color into the shot. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. I like that. Yo, I hope you guys are enjoying the POV so far or enjoying it as much as I had fun filming it because this street photography session was pretty sick. But let's talk about how you guys can win a free action camera by Acaso, the sponsors of this video. Acaso are a high quality action camera company and they reached out to me recently saying they want to sponsor a video and tell you guys about how you can win a free action camera. So I thought, yeah, that sounds like a win-win. So let's do it. So if you're interested in everything I'm about to say, links will be in the description so you can get involved and have the chance to win a free camera. The first thing you need to do is go over to the Acaso YouTube channel and click subscribe because that's where all the giveaways are happening. So if you want to win an action camera, go over to their channel right now, hit subscribe and see what's going on. However, if you just want to buy a camera, you don't want to wait for a giveaway, then on screen now is a 15% off code for their V50 Pro Endless Summer Edition camera. Whilst you're on Acaso's website, check out their Shot on Acaso competition where you can submit some footage, submit some video stuff and have a chance to win some prizes, including up to $10,000. So while you're on their website, check out their competition, subscribe to their YouTube channel, check out what's going on. They seem to be giving back to the community, which is nice. So if you're interested in action cameras, definitely go over to Acaso. Like I mentioned, everything you need to know is in the description as well. That's it for Acaso. Enjoy the rest of the POV video. So we just arrived at Common Garden and London is popping. People can eat outside now. So people have crowded the streets for food, obviously. Look at the sky right here. Holy shit. Right, so ISO 125, shutter speed 160, aperture, aperture 3.5. Boom, that is flipping gorgeous. Oh, this scene is lovely right here. So we've got people eating outside here, which is matching the same, same kind of light that the sky is giving off because the sky's on fire. Lovely shot. Oh, that's nice. Hey, that's quite simple. Oh. Like the expressions that guy was giving off there. Oh, the 50 mil is so sharp, man. That's nice. Simple moments like that, quite cool. No, I wanted to turn around. Canon R6 tracking that guy's eye right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a nice one. Cheers, mate. Just spotted this matte black Porsche here. The light coming off the shop next to it looks so good. So we get a few shots here. Savage color, that isn't it? Love the light from the shop just hitting. Little details like that look sick. The wheels in the front end with the shop in the background, the bokeh looks sick. That's a nice shot. Subtle details. Fast forward a couple of hours. It was light beforehand, now it's dark. We could try to do some low light photography here in Chinatown. Oh yeah. 
So um, what I've discovered is the busier it gets, the harder it is to shoot photos around here. Like there's so much going on, I don't know what to take a photo of. Oh, that's really nice. Love how she just stood there for a second. Settings right now, shutter speed, 1, 2, 50, f-stop at 1.8, uh, ISO about 640, exposing for the highlights. It feels like there's so much going on, I'm struggling to find those like unique moments. I mean, they do exist, but it's harder to come by. Like this guy stood outside the shop, looks kind of cool. You're waiting for him to look at me, boom. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna go on this side, I think. Get a shot. I think he's probably gonna look at me in a second as well. Just wait for him to just peer this way. Nice, I like that a lot. That's really good. That was sick. The dude was turning away from you and turned into my shot. That's sick, I got a nice glance. Oh mate, that's sick. So I've had to bump the ISO up now, it's getting a bit dark, so 1600 seems to be working for me right now. These two guys here look pretty cool. Nice, that's good. This guy's got a bit of swag, let's see what we can do here. I can't believe I just said the word swag in 2021. That's cool. Look at this girl here. That's cool. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, Missed the focus. It happens to the best of us. I'll put it on screen so you can see how much of a failure I am. But um, right, I missed the focus on the previous shot. I'm gonna make up for it. Hopefully, you can make up for it here. These two girls look kind of cool. That's nice. Smoke coming from these guys looks pretty sick. The steam coming from these. This food is nice. Hopefully, one of them might look this way and just add a bit more to the image. Gonna head over to Piccadilly. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. Let's not lose uh, Jimmy. Whoa. Wow, that was close. Oh, this is so cool. Just gonna wait for him to give me a glance, I think, just to add a little bit more to the photo. Right now, he's looking everywhere but at me. So, for this panning shot, I'm at 1 15th of a second, ISO 100, f stop 2.8, and then we've got the Piccadilly billboards in the background, um, which are nice and lit. And hopefully, we've got a taxi that just comes speeding around. Well, not speeding, but comfortably driving around this corner. This guy on a bike might look quite good. Nah, I think I've flipped that up a little bit. It's quite a nice moment between this couple here. That's sweet. So right now my settings are at shutter speed 100, f-stop 1.8, ISO pushed up a little bit. I'm going to try to get this couple here. These look quite cool. Very simple. Yeah, that's lovely. Both of them smiling. Focus on point. Love to see it. This is cool. Oh, nice. This street looks cool. Let's uh, bump the f-stop up to around 7.1. It's really dark, so I want most of this street in focus. So then we can push the ISO up to about 4,000, I think. This, this camera's good with low light. Let's see what this looks like. Something like that. It's not bad. Throw a little bit of an edit on that. Right, I see some pink neon lights coming up. Let's get a nice shot from across the street. Probably gonna go for something like a 2.8. Shutter of around 100. ISO. 2500 shutter speed 100 f 2.8 might actually be too dark i'm gonna lob i'm gonna put the iso down a little bit more actually iso of 100. that's cool nice and simple i like it it's just all, all takeaway hot chocolates can i get dark milk hazelnut and Ooh, that's so nice can I get Cheers, mate. So while we've been out doing some bits for Sam's video, I thought while we're already here at these pretty sick look-up shots, I might as well just get a few images to wrap up this video. I know this isn't with the 50, uh, this is with the 10 to 22, but actually it doesn't look too good at night to be fair. What do we think to this? It's all right. I'm gonna try to get right in the middle of these three buildings here, get one final look-up shot. I think I did a POV a few weeks ago and ended the video at this exact spot, but it was in the middle of the day, so. That isn't awful. All right, I think that'll probably do it, guys. Thanks for watching the POV video. If you want to support the channel, I've got presets over on my website. Link will be in the description. That's pretty much it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Ooh.